Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the ProMate Precise 155 uh, aluminium travel tripod. Uh, this is very small in size, uh, very compact, but uh, it uh, has some uh, really impressive specs and extends a lot. And it also is a convertible uh, tripod because it can be turned into a monopod or a huge selfie stick that I'm going to show you anyway. So uh, it also comes with a really nice bag uh, that you can uh, store it and carry it with you. The bag is not only nice but it also provides a lot of safety to this thing because it's not just a cloth, uh, it actually has a very thick padding so this thing it's kind of a protective case also. Well, we also get a lot of hex keys here and a small manual. And this is our tripod, looks like this. And this thing has a lot of features. So, uh, first thing is first uh, now it's it looks kind of a tripod but the camera is uh, holder is upside down well you can use it that way also you can hang the camera and that's really nice when you do some macros or things that need to uh, need the camera to be very close to the subject and you can extend the legs a lot so they will not be into the image and these things extends a lot but that's not all of it you can actually put the legs that way and turn it into a regular tripod that can be very big and you have this locking type here mechanism it has several positions and you can also uh, have a tripod that has very low uh, legs like this almost like a platform and you can extend the column this one also extends but it's not very uh, long still you can use it like that you can lock the screw here and you have this type of tripod uh, then you have another option with one of the uh, legs, I think it's this one, yes, this one, so you can take one of its legs out and this one turns into a very long monopod or selfie stick. Now let's take a quick look at the head of the tripod, so it has this adjustment screw for rotating it, it has this one for the bolt here. Um, it doesn't have a lever to operate so you are going to use uh, this this is actually the uh, lever and the sc uh, screw that holds the shoe mount here and uh, this is made from metal really nice and you have some adjustment here adjustment space so you can adjust that the camera is held in place and kind of level with this you can mount it more to one side or more in the front, more in the back, that's a good idea. And because it doesn't have uh, uh, that level here, uh, this thing is kind of a 360 rotatable, any direction uh, type of mount. And you can use this as a small lever. Don't need a big one to uh, have, at, at least this is a travel a tripod, it's not a studio tripod, so it's good enough and you also have a level meter here and another one here so you can uh, precisely mount this uh, in a horizontal position um, you don't have two axis adjustments independently with this type of head so um, you cannot lock just up down or left right uh, you are going to move it that in any direction that you need to uh, not like on uh, classical tripods so 
it takes a bit of time to get used to it but that's it you are going to get used to it with all that movement and it's going to do its job otherwise it's pretty sturdy really nice it doesn't uh, um, rattle doesn't make any fine fine uh, funny noises and you can also untwist this and install another type of head if you want to or don't like this so you can get a better head and use that one so it's not an issue it's just a feature and being a travel made tripod it's excellent for the size and compactness fully extended is uh, really big so it has exactly as they state in the model it has 155 centimeters up to here where you are going to fix your camera or lights or whatever you are going to use it with so the specs are right and for how small it is it's actually a very big one and here is it in comparison with my old tripod so they are about the same when uh, fully extended but the new one it's very nice very sturdy while the old one made this uh, kind of noises since his uh, uh, beginning throughout all its existence and that is how they look fully uh, folded as compact as possible so they cannot get smaller than this and as you can see it's a big difference between the two of them although they have the same size almost when fully extended so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, quick review and until my next videos see you and bye bye